Hey everyone, Spencer from Bricks here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a personal finance dashboard and spreadsheets using AI. With this dashboard, you'll be able to track your income, expenses, investments, and more, all in a fully customizable dashboard based on your spreadsheet data. Bricks is an AI-powered spreadsheet tool that includes docs, presentations, and an AI agent that can make all sorts of visual artifacts for you based on your spreadsheet data. For example, it can make a personal finance dashboard for you based on your spreadsheet data. All you have to do is drop in a CSV file of your financial statements and Bricks will analyze the data, categorize your expenses, and build out a fully customizable dashboard that gives you a clear view of where your money is going on both a monthly and annual basis. So in this video, we're gonna walk through the step-by-step -step process to create that dashboard. And by the end, you'll have a complete personal finance tracker that can give an amazing overview of your finances. Let's dive in. To get started, you'll need to create a free account. Just head over to thebricks.com, click sign up at the top, enter your email and password, and you'll be dropped right into the main Bricks dashboard. All right, from here, let's start by creating a new file. And let's name our new file, Personal Finance Tracker. Navigate over to the visual board by clicking this tab on the left sidebar with the blue icon. And this will bring us to our visual board. On the right side of our visual board, you'll see a series of icons. Each of these shows a different set of pre-built templates and blocks that we offer within Bricks. For example, we have roadmaps, calendars, diagrams, Kanban boards, charts, graphs, and all sorts of other things. So we're gonna click this button right here with the four blocks on it. And this is going to open up our dashboards and reports section. Next, we're going to select this personal finance tracker option. You'll be prompted with a pop-up asking you to import a CSV file. You can either import a CSV of your bank statements, credit card statements, or even investment accounts. And Bricks will then import all of your data, categorize expenses, and build out a series of tables and charts to visualize your finances. Finally, it all gets organized into this incredibly helpful personal finance dashboard. Now, if you're using Bricks for the first time and you just wanna see how it works, you can click this button down here in the pop-up that allows you to create a tracker using test data to get started. And it's worth noting here, Bricks uses powerful privacy and security features to keep all of your data safe. Your data is never shared with anyone, it's not used for AI training, and it's only used to generate charts and reports that give you this overview of your finances. Now, I'm gonna drag and drop a CSV file of my bank statement right here onto this pop-up. Once you upload your CSV, Bricks will immediately start analyzing your transactions. It uses AI to categorize your expenses, track your income, and even aggregate your data into monthly and yearly summaries. In just a few seconds, Bricks pulls everything together into a clear, easy to read dashboard. And there you go, the dashboard has been created. Now let's take a look at what Bricks has built for us. At the top, you'll see a monthly summary of all your income, expenses, investments, and debt. This gives you a snapshot of your overall financial situation. Moving down, you'll find the monthly breakdown section. This first chart shows your expenses broken down by category in a bar chart based on the last month of your data. Right next to it, you'll find the same data visualized in a pie chart, which provides a different perspective on your spending. And below these charts, we have a table summarizing your top five expenses for the last month. It's a great way to keep track of any large purchases. Moving on to the next section, we can see a zoomed out view of our yearly expenses. Again, you can see a summary of your income, expenses, investment, and debt, but in a yearly view this time. This first table shows your total income and expenses by month. Next, there's a pie chart that breaks down your yearly expenses by category. This is helpful for seeing which areas took up the largest portion of your spending. And next, we have a budget breakdown chart which compares your income versus expenses side by side. Below that, we have a bar chart that displays your total expenses each month, letting you quickly spot high or low spending months. And next is one of the charts that I think is the most useful personally, uh, which is categories over time. 
This chart tracks your spending in each category month to month. So if you notice a spike in spending in a particular month, this chart will help you pinpoint which category caused that increase, which is a great way to see how your spending habits change over time. Okay, moving on to wrap up this section, we have a line chart comparing your income versus expenses, which is key for seeing if you're spending more than you're earning and whether you had a shortfall or surplus in any given month. And finally, the table below gives you a breakdown of your total yearly expenses by category, similar to the earlier table, but covering the entire year. Now, Bricks automatically categorizes all your transactions for you when you upload your CSV file, but you can always make changes. You can update the categories manually or ask the AI to update categories for you. To do this, we'll go into the spreadsheet view, which powers the entire dashboard. To edit a category, simply double click on the category cell and click manage values from the dropdown. And from here, you can rename, remove, or create new categories. For example, we could change business to other and then click save to save your changes. This feature is super flexible, letting you tweak your categories to fit your exact needs. So whether you wanna track something specific like entertainment or add a new category like pet expenses, it's easy to adjust. Another way to update categories is by asking Bricks AI to do it for you. For example, if we wanted to rename dining out to food, I just need to type the following prompt into the AI chat box, which is down here update the category dining out to food. And here you'll see when you type the word category, it changes color. This is because Bricks automatically knows that category is a column in your spreadsheet. And so when it does this, it, it tells the spreadsheet more specifically where to make the changes. And just like that, Bricks AI updates it for me. As you can see, dining out has now changed to food in my categories. You can also ask the AI to handle more complex tasks like generating pivot tables or doing calculations without needing to know how to write complex formulas. All you have to do is tell Bricks AI what you need and it writes the formulas for you and executes it. Now let's talk about the tables here in this spreadsheet. These were created automatically when you imported your CSV. The first table is the raw data from your initial CSV export. You can see that Bricks determined whether it was an income or expense as well as categorized each transaction for you. Every single chart and table we just looked at in the dashboard was created based on this data. Now these next four tables are additional tables that were created to provide various summaries of your income and expenses. And finally, you see a table that shows the total amount spent on each unique item, helping you track exactly where your money is going. To the right of that is the last table, which groups your transactions by category, so you can see the total amount spent per category. These tables feed directly into the dashboard and are the foundational source of all the visuals and insights you see. Now, let's talk about customization. The great thing about Bricks is that everything in this dashboard is fully customizable. You can change chart colors, move or resize the charts, and if you don't need a certain chart, you can delete it. So if you wanted to add new charts or tables to your dashboard, there are three different ways to do it. Let me walk you through each method. So the first method is by asking AI to do it for you. So first, head to the text field at the bottom of the grid view. Simply type in a request for the AI to create a specific chart. For example, let's try to create a bar chart showing our expenses by category. Type this in here. Then hit enter and AI will automatically generate the chart based on the data it pulls from the spreadsheet. And there you go. Once the AI creates the chart, you'll still need to add it to your visual board. First, let's make this a little bit wider so we can see all the different categories here. Um, now we're gonna click on the chart and then at the top, we will click this button that says send copy to. From the dropdown, we're gonna choose the personal finance tracker. That's the visual board where our dashboard is. Now we'll be automatically taken to the board where we can now see the new chart in our dashboard. Now you can grab right up here at the top of this block and you can drag this chart to wherever you want to show it on your dashboard. You can also resize it to however you want it to look. I'm gonna drag it back down to the bottom and I am going to make it half size. The second way to create a new chart is by doing it manually in the spreadsheet view. First, let's go back to the spreadsheet view where all of our tables were. 
Next, you can highlight the data that you want to visualize, click the Bricks button at the top, and then click Chart. Right here is where you select which data you want for your range, and we can hit Create. And then we're in the Chart Creator. You can select different values that you want to place on different axes, and you can choose what type of chart you would like. I'm going to cr create a bar chart, and I'm going to save this to the grid. Now from here, I can take this and I can send a copy to my personal finance tracker. Now I will name this totals. I'm gonna move it right up here. Oops. And there we go. The third method is to create charts directly from the board view right here. So what we do is we hover over a blank area and you see this uh, plus add a new block section. We'll click that and then we can click chart. We're now, we'll now be prompted to select the grid that has the data that we need. We will click the personal finance tracker and again let's select our unique items. Now that our range is selected we'll hit create. This shows us a bar chart of all the different things, all the different items that we're spending our money on. I want to make it a pie chart. Actually, I think I want to make it a donut chart. And now I can save that to my board. Here we can change the title if we want. I am going to make this a little bit smaller. And I want it to be a little bit less wide. I think that's good. If you ever need to update any chart on your dashboard, just click on the edit button right here at the top and it will bring you back into the chart creator where you can change whether what type of chart you want and what data you want to display in that chart. This level of customization is one of the things that makes Bricks unique. Whether you want to track something specific or create a new chart to visualize your spending, Bricks gives you the flexibility to make your dashboard exactly how you want it because it's based on the spreadsheet. And there you have it. That's how you use Bricks to create a personal finance dashboard and spreadsheets using AI. Whether you want to track your monthly expenses, visualize your spending habits, or compare your income versus expenses, this tool makes it so, so easy. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.